Aisha, give me a second. I was just organizing my stuff. But seeing you outside your workshop like this still feels weird. <laughs> True. You were always the one who came to me. But it looks like I'll be coming to visit you sometimes from now on. I think it's exciting. I feel like I just got a new traveling partner. Anyway, you sure have a lot of stuff. Is it all? That's right. Although, the things I sell wholesale to shops and the things I sell to regular people are all mixed up. If you need anything, I'll give you a family discount. I see. I might want to buy some. All right. I'll unpack. So go ahead and take a look. really like it here. <laughs> Thank you for saying that my cows are cute. Do you like cows as well? Cows? Hmm. I've never thought about it, but I guess Panna always helps me out too. She's family to me. So, her name is Panna? <laughs> That's a perfect name for her. She's so strong carrying all that luggage. Very impressive. <laughs> she's strong and kind, but she's also a glutton. A cow that eats a lot is a good cow. Please keep taking good care of her. Oops, I need to get going now. If I don't hurry, it'll be nightfall. Oh, we have to get going too. Come on, Panna, we're leaving. Goodness. <laughs> it seems. 
seems like Hannah wants to stay here a little longer. Um, where are you headed? As where the winds blow, as where the cows go. Where I'm going is up to the herd. Come on, guys. We have to get going soon. If you'll excuse me, I hope we meet again. Um... Sorry, I haven't asked for your name yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Aisha, an apothecary. Although, I'm taking a break from that right now. I'm Nanaka. As you can see, I'm a cowgirl. Let's meet again somewhere, Aisha. Okay, Nanaka. Somewhere again.
have the advantage. Looking for another way around, too. But we couldn't find one. Oh, Nanaka! <laughs> so we meet again. I wonder if our fates are connected somehow. It doesn't seem to have been that long since it collapsed. And it's dangerous to go near it. Yeah, he's so tall. Oh, this is my brother, Yuris. Looks like it'll be better to find an alternate route. Oh, I know. Aisha, would you like to come with us? I know how he looks, but my brother is actually really dependable. Oh, really? That would be great! Okay, let's look for another way around. Maybe I should just try to find a place where a breeze is coming out. strong wind coming through but there's a rock in the way i can't get past it 
If it's in the way, then you just need to move it. Stand back. Sorry about that. My job doesn't require me to be friendly. Jeez, you won't be able to make any friends if you keep saying things like that.
Maybe staking out this place is just a waste of time. This is the only sizable town in the area. I am sure he will need supplies eventually. So, would he not show himself in this town sooner or later? Logically, that should be true. But this isn't our only job, remember? A stakeout is meaningless if we can't constantly keep an eye out. Besides, it's just ridiculous that we need to search for someone in a foreign nation without a portrait. Could the people from headquarters be hazing us? Are you investigating today as well? Well, today's job is more about searching for a certain person rather than our usual job. Actually, Aisha, perfect timing. I have something I want to ask you. Do not worry. It will not take long. Okay. If that's the case... Well, Headquarters is looking for a certain person. And I got this wanted poster. Huh? Fugitive? I don't have a lot of acquaintances, so I doubt the fugitive is someone I know. Just listen, we only have the personal history of this guy. We don't even have a sketch of his face. But I thought maybe you would know. Hmm, okay. I'm not sure if I can help you or not, though. Thank you. The wanted person's name is Keith Griff Hazeldine. He's in his mid-40s, tall and lean with silver hair and a mustache. Oh, and he's always smoking cigarettes. And this is the biggest point. This wanted guy is an alchemist, just like you. An alchemist? Me? Um, what's an alchemist? Other people have called me that before, too. Huh? You don't know? I wonder if they call it something different around here. Aisha, even I know what alchemists are. People call someone like you an alchemist. What? I'm an alchemist? Linka, your explanation doesn't explain anything. It's someone who's acquainted with various materials and possesses the skill to create and transform them creating precious metals from base metals, or delving into the power that dwells in natural objects for cures. See? It's the same as what you're doing. That skill is called alchemy. S so that's what it is. I didn't even know. Hmm. But I still think of myself as an apothecary. It seems like you don't understand the greatness of your skills. I know. I have the perfect book for you, so you can have it. It's a book on alchemy. I think you'll be able to take advantage of it. Wow, thank you so much! It Don't worry. In return, if you figure anything out about this wanted man, let me know. Well, Linka, let's say it's another job done and go home for today. Okay. Aisha, I will see you again. person in his 40s with silver hair a mustache and cigarettes wait a minute so this is an alchemy book I wonder if I'll understand it. I should read the preface first. Hmm, let's see. I dedicate this book to those who seek out the truth on their own. Hmm, it already sounds hard. It's the first page and it's already talking about the truth. Is this what that spectacled man was talking about at the ruin? If alchemy is connected to the truth, then studying alchemy will lead me to saving Neo. All right, I need to work really hard for this. Oh, that one 
haunted person that Marion was talking about. It seems like the description matches the spectacled man at the room. Maybe it is that man. No, no, it can't be. But anyway, I need to focus on understanding this book right now. Alchemy is the one and only practice of processing materials to create something completely different. And an alchemist is someone who understands all creation and is well-versed in various substances. However, in order to use this skill properly, one will also need to have natural talent. Hmm, I guess it's not something that everyone can do. I wonder if I can really do it. But it doesn't seem all that different from making medicine. And I also seem to be able to understand this book. If I can understand alchemy, it might help me synthesize medicine. And maybe it'll give me some clues to find out where Neo went. Okay, now let's try to make this craft thingy. The first ingredient is... Um... Spiky fruit? Are you enjoying the bazaar? Oh, Mr. Harry! I actually just got here. Come take a look! I got some good fish today! You won't see a big one like this too often. Freshly picked mountain vegetables! Only two more left! Better hurry before they're gone! Hey! They have some cute fabric over there! Oh, really? Mom! Where are you? It's so lively. It's nothing like how the street normally is. <laughs> Everyone says that. What do you think? Are you a- Yes! It's very fun! I've never been to such a lively festival before. With so many people, I'm starting to get a little dizzy. <laughs> With this many people, it might be tough until you get used to it. By the way, festival? <laughs> I guess it is something like a festival. This festival has become vital to developing Fearsberg's economy and the circulation of goods and money. We hold this bazaar every month. By all means, have fun!
that a skilled alchemist is an amazing person who can create anything. But... it doesn't really feel like I turned into an amazing person. Anyway, I wonder what this craft is used for. I think it mentioned it in the book. Hmm... let's see. So... it explodes when thrown. Oh, I see. expand our investigation now? There's no way we can do that! Huh? Was that Marion's voice? She will calm down in a 
while. Do not worry. This is a common occurrence. She's always sending over additional work without knowing anything about our situation. If they want us to keep the deadline, they better send us money. Or people. Deadline? What is she talking about? I do not know. The gopher seems to have to deal with a lot of trouble. Don't say that so seriously, Linka. You're gonna make me sad. I'm sorry. I showed you yet another disgraceful moment. I kept receiving absurd orders, one after the other. And I just couldn't help myself. You seem really busy. If you want, I can just come back later. Oh, there's no need for that. As it turns out, I need to talk to you too. Huh? Marion? Why are you smiling like that? I got additional investigation instructions from my home country, but... I already have my hands full. So, I was thinking I'd ask you to handle this particular investigation for me. A particular investigation? Um, what should I do? I have Mio's thing too, so I wonder if I'll have time to take on a job like this. <laughs> It'll probably help you out too. I want to request an investigation of Hollow's village. All of the villagers disappeared overnight. Just looking at the circumstances, doesn't it sound similar to your sister's disappearance? That is interesting. Please, let me do this job. Thank you. In that case, I'll tell you the details of the request. I want you to examine the village thoroughly and search for something that might have caused the disappearances. The cause? I wonder what could cause all the villagers to disappear? There are numerous possibilities, like they were attacked by beasts or thieves or poisonous gas. Of course, it could even be the work of a bloodthirsty killer. Bloodthirsty? What? That's just a possibility. But if that is the case, you might see the vengeful ghosts of the villagers. Uh, um, I think I'll actually decline. Nope, I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd get that scared. Don't worry. I don't think it'll be a killer because... The villagers disappeared without a trace. It's really strange. Uh, anyway, if we can find physical evidence that points to the cause, it would be more than we're hoping for. Physical evidence? What would that be? Samples of the water or dirt, whether or not there are any signs of struggle, or weapons on the ground. If you find anything out of the ordinary, bring it back. Water, dirt, and anything out of the ordinary. Got it! And, since we don't know what'll happen... Oh, Linka, I order you to be Aisha's bodyguard. I'm counting on you. As you command. Linka will? Wow, that's very reassuring! Aisha, I'm sure you'll be okay. But always keep your guard up. If you think it's dangerous, don't go too far in. Okay, I'll do my best. protect you from all enemies, even at the cost of my life. Oh, you don't have to go that far. This girl is very skilled, but she's also very inflexible. Well, I can guarantee your skills with the sword. I'm sure it'll be helpful to take her with you. Linka, escort her to a moderate degree. Don't go overboard, okay? You'll escort her until you return to town. Do you understand? As you command. Also, don't go following strangers. As you command. When you wake up in the morning, make sure you comb your hair and tidy yourself up. Where's your response? As you command. If you come back with messy hair, I won't let you back in the house, okay? 
as you command. It seems like Marion has a lot to deal with. Well then, Aisha, look after Linka for me. Thank you. 
Okay. 